Hello and welcome to my Verice video. Um, I don't know what day it is now. I've missed a day yesterday. I had a very busy day yesterday. Um, we had to get our floor replaced, so I had to rip up the old floor and we had to scrap a car and, you know, life. And so everything's all over the place in our house. It's just a chaos day, so I didn't get a video done. Anyway, I'm here today to do a video. And um, my rice is just cooked, which is very exciting. And the anticipation of Easter Day is rising. And what I want to say just very briefly is that sometimes when we anticipate things, and this is what I've been thinking about, they aren't what we hoped they would be. And sometimes they're greater than what we'd expect, even if they may not happen the way we want them to. And that seems very coded, but um, I'm very excited about Easter Sunday, for instance, and I'm looking forward to eating a burger. Um, but someone might bring me along a chocolate bar or something like that. I'm not asking anyone to do that, just saying. And that would be a nice surprise. I'm anticipating uh, anticipating something lovely on, Chris, on Christmas, <laughs> on Easter. And um, when I get that, I'm going to be very excited. But then there might be things I don't expect. And this Sunday coming, and this is also leading to Easter, is that moment we anticipated as Christians. Um and the excitement of what Jesus achieved. But when Jesus initially walked in, and on Sunday I'm talking about this, when he when he rode into Jerusalem on a on a donkey, um, people were anticipating this man coming to save them by overthrowing the Romans and defeating them. But the story goes that Jesus died on a cross. And it wasn't until he rose from the dead that suddenly the penny dropped and people realised, ah, that's what he meant, that he's come to save us, not from these Romans that are ruling over us, but from death, that he's actually going to be able to defeat the ultimate enemy of death. And um, that makes him very heavy for a rice video. Um, but that is what I celebrate as a Christian at Easter, um, that Jesus did not come here to be a king that we go, oh, aren't you so great? I'm just going to worship you because you're a king. He is a king who came to serve he was a king who came and died and laid his life down so that we people that are totally undeserving receive this free gift of forgiveness of eternal life um it's amazing it's just the best news i know and uh and yeah i i just yeah i'm anticipating easter sunday where we really spend a whole day reflecting and enjoying what Jesus has done for us. There you go. That's the gospel.